Hi, my name is Mark Webb. I'm the Relationship Specialist, and I'm here today to give you some information on how to stay motivated with your New Year's, res New Year's resolutions, even when you don't feel like it. Uh, from my experience, a lot of the advice that the experts give you actually hinders you and keeps you from getting your goals done. And so I want to give you ones that the champions use. Uh, my first one is be unreasonable in what you expect of yourself. Most of the experts will tell you to take baby steps. And so, you, you, so you're making little gains here and there as a means of keeping you motivated. But from my experience, baby steps means big frustration because you don't see results with baby steps. And you get frustrated and come March, you're no longer doing your resolutions. So be unreasonable in what you expect of yourself. Set huge goals. I'm, re I'm very goal-oriented. I like to set goals. Uh, I've done things like one year I chose to decide I was going to write a book, How to Be a Great Partner. So that was my goal for the year. The following year I set a goal that I wanted to become an instructor of Taekwondo, certified uh, Taekwondo instructor, reached my fourth degree black belt, which I was a third degree when I started out uh, with this goal, and to win a world championship title. I didn't set just one goal to become a certified instructor. I set an unreasonable goal. And what I found is you set a goal not for the attainment itself but for what you become in the process. And I find if you set a bigger goal, you become more in that process. So I want you to be unreasonable. You'll be surprised. It's more motivational if you have a huge goal. So you, if you want the things that most people don't have, you've got to be willing to do the things that most people aren't willing to do. So be unreasonable. Also, work so hard that if you fail, you'll have no excuses. When I think of this one, I'll reference it back to the World Championships. The, the Fall Championships, the previous year, I walked away from the Fall Nationals, competing in the second, third degree competition ring, and I didn't win a single, single event. So I walked away very discouraged, very defeated, but I walked out of there with a resolve that I was going to train every morning and every evening in such a way that if I did not make it in June at the World Championships, I would have no excuses. Train so hard that if you fail, you'll have no excuses. Show up and then keep moving. That's the third one. A large part of succeeding in life is just show up. We spend so much time in our mind thinking it through and wondering and worrying and all that other, trying to make it be perfect. Don't worry about perfection. Just show up, and then once you show up, then keep working at it. The perfection will catch up to you. Have a question that drives you. Whatever your goal may be, set a question. Like, for instance, when this World Championship one. I had a question every morning that when I'd wake up, it's 5 o'clock, I didn't want to get up. A lot of my training was required outside, so it would be cold and raining, miserable weather, and my body would be tired, and I wouldn't want to get up. But my question that drove me was, what would a champion do? And so it helped me override the voice of my body that would say, just lay here, or one morning it's not going to hurt to sleep in. My answer would be a question, would get, a champion would get up and train. And so I would get up and push myself to do what I had to do. Your question may be, what would a great partner do? What would a great husband do? What would a great wife do? What would a great parent do? What would a great salesman do? Also call things forth as if they were. I'm a real big believer in that you shouldn't just think your goals. You need to write them down. Once you write them down, you start making a goal materialize into a physical reality. So, you know, you might write a goal. Mine was, you know, I am, I am the world champion for uh, forms and weapons. Or, you know, I'm going to complete this book by such and such a date. Post it somewhere where you will see it often. And if you want to take that a step further, speak your goal out loud. Say it out loud because the spoken word is more powerful than uh, just a thought. In addition to that, I would say publicly commit yourself. Let other people know what you're doing. Because most of us do care what other people think and we don't want to look weak or look like a failure. And when you publicly commit yourself, you're going to push yourself a whole lot harder because you don't want to fall back and quit. Because I say, what happened to your goal? What happened to your goal? This way, you'll push through those times. I encourage you in general to carry yourself with your goals with boldness, confidence, and conviction. It's really important how you carry yourself. Don't wait till you achieve the goal to start carrying yourself that way. Carry yourself that way towards the goal. Shoulders back, head up. Be enthusiastic. I want you to train yourself to be enthusiastic all day long. Like I said, that's not possible. I want you to wake up happy, throw yourself out of bed, 
and start off with a positive momentum and build it throughout the day. You may not be able to do this to begin with all day long, but I want you to build up those muscles that you can be the same guy at the end of the day as you were at the beginning of the day. Enthusiasm is just like anything else. You just got to train yourself to be upbeat. Do everything with a high sense of urgency. A lot of people who, experts who teach on goal setting, they tell you, take it slow, take it easy on yourself. And they think that's, that's helping you by coddling you, but those are the people who don't stick with the goals. Those people who give you that advice sometimes don't even really do goals themselves. Do everything with a sense of urgency. Set yourself on fire with it, um, that i got to hurry up and get this done. Try, make it a game if you can. Try to go faster than what you did the day before. Try to do a little bit more than you did the day before. Also, model yourself after the best. One of the fastest ways to achieve your goals is to think of somebody who's already doing what you're doing or someone who once did it greatly. And then just do what they did. Read their biographies. Look them up on the internet. Try to meet them if you can. Spend some time with them. Learn their secrets for success and then just duplicate them. And finally, quitting is not an option. Burn your ships. Make yourself to where there is no retreat. I'm going to push through no matter what. So this is Mark Webb giving you a few tips on how to be all you can be in this next year. If you'd like more information, go to my website, www.therelationshipspecialist.com. Thank you.